So here we are in Santa Cruz again. That's right. <laughs> keep returning, keep returning to it no matter what. <laughs> what is it about Santa Cruz that gets you? Uh, you know, I, it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's sort of timeless quality that Santa Cruz has, and it, it's one of those things where, where you know, people keep returning to it year after year. It has all these memories tied in with it, and so it's, it's. There's just something about it that, that uh, and it has my own memories tied in with it, too. So as a painter, what, what do you look for in subjects and compositions from Santa Cruz? Uh, I, it's, it's, all, it's all abstract shapes to me. That's the way I, I see things. And combinations of, of, of colors that give me, in many times, and in fact most of the work, you'll see, it's... it's, it's Actually, more far more muted. You know, people always talk about how much color I use in pieces, but it's really there's there's a lot of color. But everybody makes the mistake of thinking color is is pure color. And I actually use mostly all grays. Everything's kind of a gray color. The color doesn't have a lot to do with this, except for except for accent. Uh, it, you know, it's it's really more about it's really more about this base of of dark value that I have down here, and how it how it it. It's, this this top part, this very linear part of the of the coaster, sort of sits on it, and and that's the way I view things. Yeah, it's not. It, 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 this could be anything. It happens to be a roller coaster, so it's based on reality, but it's it's based on me creating my own reality, and that's really what I what I try to do.